hunting Scotty Hargrave in the thrilling NBC drama The Blacklist Redemption. And on tomorrow night's explosive season finale, you'll see her battling for control of her company and the mysterious Whitehall technology. Six months ago, I came before the board because I had concluded that the husband I loved and adored was gone, that he had become delusional, and that it was your fiduciary responsibility to remove him as head of this company. My company, which I created in all my delusional grandeur. You agreed with my assessment then, and everything that's happened since only reinforces the conclusion that Howard is not of sound mind. By his own admission, he faked his death. Howard's not well. Pumpkin Johnson, good to see you. Everybody does that at least not once. Well, yeah. Come on, fake your death. So, we, you know, we've talked before. Uh, Scotty, in some ways, is like you, but in other ways, nothing like you. Yes, no. I, I, for one thing, I wouldn't dress like her all the time because I would have to suck in my stomach. Her, oh. her dresses are so tailored, and you know, you like to be free. I like to be free. <laughs> I don't have to worry that much about it. I'm much goofier and quirkier than she is. I thought it was yeah. interesting, though. You say when you know when you're acting, you like to kind of escape yourself a little bit. We can relate to that. Yes, I mean that's the great thing about acting is I get to play different characters and act and, and you know personalities. If I had sure. to play myself all the time, I. I need a vacation from myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. for sure. How about what all do you the mean? high... Oh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. Man, I'm striking out so bad. He's having a rough day. Like a yeah, have a, have a jelly bean. <laughs> I don't even have a question now. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's kind of interesting because you've been all the, in all these thrillers and like this action, the show that has so much action, and yet by your own admission, you're a little on the clumsy side. I'm a lot on the clumsy side. I was trying to I think I'm, Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being kind about this. I've broken, I think, four ribs over the wow. course of my acting career. Really? One of them very recently, about two weeks ago, on the show. Yes. Ow. Doing How? Doing what? Uh, doing a scene with Ryan Eggold. Mm. Speaking of spoilers, clearly. No, I'm mm. just kidding. What can you tell us, if anything? Well, Look at if this. you're looking, then you can probably see it happen about now. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh dear. I know. Yikes. Ouch. What can you tell us about in advance of the finale? I know you don't like spoilers, but what can you give us? Oh, this is give us very a nugget. difficult. But because we, I really don't want to give anything away. But we're going to find out. Some things are going to be wrapped up about Halcyon. And you know there's a fight going on between mm -hmm. my husband, lovely husband, Howard, and, right. <laughs> and between Scotty mm -hmm. as to who really has ownership over Halcyon and who speaks the truth and who lies. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have some. There's in, in a very typical sort of blacklist fashion. Mm -hmm. Certain things are gonna be wrapped up, but other things are gonna be opened up for a question for the future to see what's gonna for happen. Us to tune in again. Yeah, yes. exactly. You blacklist people. I know. <laughs> you ever? I was always curious about this. I mean, you're in the midst of filming. Do you ever swing by a TV and actually sit down and watch your show like like we do? Now I do. I never actually have watched my own stuff, but I have one of my friends, I have a lot of actor friends, but one of them was on a TV show said, and we were on a TV show for years together for Netflix, and he said, it really helps watching yourself. Hmm. You can learn as you're doing it, and so I took him to heart, and I'm watching the show now, and it's really interesting. I mean, you can learn from it. It's mm -hmm. a little bit dif difficult, and you have to get past the, oh my God, what did I do here, or how? Did, why did I use, you know, why did I say that, or... Couldn't they have used a different take kind of thing? <laughs> Can you watch it without staring at yourself and just enjoy it for what it is? Because it's such a I'm, great show. I'm learning. You're learning. After oh. a long acting career, I'm, I'm learning enough. how to do that now. And, and before we let you go, could you run, uh, weigh in on Ryan's hair? I think we've got a picture of, of Ryan's hair. Okay, so hair we're going to do it before and after? Before and after. Okay, so But look at a, the actor in person, too. Like, look so at him now. What, what do you think? Which but, do you like better? Fonka, look at him now. Wow, yeah. Look well, not, how are you? Hi. Now, see, isn't it better there? I love it. There you go. <gasps> I'm, I'm giving the two thumbs up. Yes. You hear that? Not, not cut. It was that the right one. Right. Not cut. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Famke, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. See? I knew I loved her. The season finale of The Blacklist Redemption airing tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central, right here on NBC. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.